this is Henry. Uh, we have a few cases where we send a box to customers and it's a bit of uh, not installing correctly. So we just want to highlight to you what we have uh, in the box. Firstly, you have a charger and the charger should come with the right um, New Zealand plug head. If it's the wrong one, please let us know. We're sending the right one. Secondly, we want to show you is that this part needs to be installed onto the handlebar. And there are people uh, who have installed it incorrectly. So what happened is that we have seen some people who install it this way, uh, which is the wrong angle, or they were installing it this way, which is a wrong angle again. So what is the right angle? The right angle is when the stem is in line with your handlebar. So if you look at this angle, just this part here, it should be in line with the handlebar. If you get about 90% correct, you are almost good. Or just as good, it'll be fine. Next thing is that you have this bracket here, which you use to install onto the top here. So there's four bolts. Each bolt is about five, uh, five mm Allen key, and just tighten it. Some people have tightened it the other way around. It's no harm, but it doesn't uh, defeat the purpose. And with this piece here, you can also use it as a hook up and down. So once you get these things done properly, you are almost half, you're halfway there. The next thing to do is that this piece here, this three piece here, is loose. And you, you come with an Allen key, which you can tighten it. Now to determine the right angle, this uh, brake lever should be about the same height, same level as your arm. You don't want it to be too high because you hurt your wrist. You want to be just about the right angle. And once you get the right angle, use uh, number five Allen key and tighten it, and then that's done. Next is your throttle. The throttle got to be at an angle that you're comfortable. When you look down, you can see the information right in front of you, and you you can accelerate quite easily and brakes quite easily with the throttle. Once you get that sorted, you're uh, almost there. Just know about the features of the scooter. Firstly, the scooter has three potholes here. This two pothole is meant for charging purpose. You can use either one of them, or you can use both to speed up the charge. The next one is another pothole here. This is strictly for uh, external battery owning. So if you buy an optional external battery that will extend your range, this is where you plug it in. Now, once you got your new scooter, be sure to pump into the right pressure on the front and rear tire, um, and um, and give it a good charge, full charge before you start out. Now, like in every other scooters, there will always be a play on the handlebar. Why? Because it's a folding part. So if you find that the handlebar is too shaky to your liking. What you can do is you unwind this brake lever here and unwind this here, lift it up. Once you lift it up, you can fold it down to one. And if you look over here, there's a uh, hole. It's a three mils Allen key, which you can turn, unwind one eighth of a turn. So it's anti-clockwise, anti one eighth of a turn, and that was uh, stiffen up the the gap and push it back down again and turn it a bit doesn't have to be super tight as long as it's uh, tight enough and the next thing you do is just try again see if you have a lesser shake if you still have a minor shake of about 2 to 3 mil it's okay because uh, it's not designed to be rigid or stiff because uh, if that has happened, then it's very hard for you to fold and unfold. So once you get that sorted, uh, sorted um, just beware of the warning, uh, wear helmet at all times, 20 kilometers per hour speed limits, and run only on the sidewalk. You'll be quite safe. So enjoy your ride. Happy, safe riding. Thank you.